Glory from Earth Fair will be on the air during AM Ocala Live coming this Wednesday at 11.05 a.m. with weekly deals and information just for you. Live longer with Earth Fair. All right, five minutes after uh, after 8 o'clock. Gosh, I almost said after 11. I guess I'm rushing in the morning. 60 degrees right now. It's going to, temperatures will climb to 92 today. Uh, Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry, Robin. How are you all? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, is this a good time of year to go to Disney World? Anybody? Hey, what's your opinion on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want to hit it before May, before the end of May. Uh, you know, anytime February, March. Because of the temperature you, or the crowd? You avoid spring break. Yeah, you got to avoid spring, both. Oh, you want to okay. avoid spring break. Um, you know, that month, uh, the last two weeks of uh, of May, March and the first two weeks of April, you want to avoid, but... February is good. The end of January is good, um, and and now is good. But if you wait till June, July, August, you know it's going to be boiling hot, and there's lots and yeah, lots yeah. and lots of people. All right, I, 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 this is really not the topic of today, but since we're thinking. I'm thinking about it now. That thing called Pandora. What's that? That movie. Uh, sure. Okay. Oh, with the blue guy. I mean, the the all the news releases. Not Avatar. Absolutely. Avatar. Thank you. All the news releases from oh, Disney. Pandora's a music act. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, oh, that's right. Pandora is your music thing. Oh, right. A- a- Avatar, but then the land is called Pandora, right? I think. I don't know. At, at but anyway, all, right, so. all, all these news releases from Disney World regarding this new place has piqued my interest. Yeah. However, and I, I love Animal Kingdom, but I if I haven't been to Disney in so long, I don't think I want to go to Animal Kingdom first when I start going. if I ever go back there. Mm-hmm. Because Animal Kingdom to me is a big zoo, and if they've got this Avatar thing, gosh, I feel like I pay all that money to see one little place and then go watch some giraffes running around the woods. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, I think they needed a draw, and you know, Avatar is the best-selling movie of all time. Um, you know, and 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 they're coming off of it. You know, Universal's just done so well with the uh, Harry Potter world. That it's kind of a natural tie-in that Disney had to do something, and movies work for them. I'm like, yeah, you know, they they switched over the Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, to more of the, you know, the of the movie kind of a side. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, all that has worked for them, so I, I'm not surprised that they continue to do it. Yeah, it's just that if I if I'm paying a hundred dollars to go to one of the parks. I don't think it's going to be Animal Kingdom right now. It's just, I mean, mm-hmm. maybe after I've, because I haven't been in, I am not exaggerating, probably 20 years. Mm-hmm. Except for the except for when we went with Joe to do that broadcast out of Hollywood Studios. Right, exactly. And that was just kind of a, that was, you know, that was just a couple of hours. We weren't there the whole day. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's after the broadcast. So. Sure. Hey, sure. I, have a, I have a question for you about radio. You, uh, guys, you've got a long history in radio, and so do I, and so does Robin, but... Do you think the word dildo is taboo? Are we allowed to say that word on the radio? I think we are now. Um, is it a bad word? It's probably allowed. I, I don't okay. think it's I would use. Be- okay. Did you see the story about uh, Kevin Plawecki? Pl- 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 is that his name from the Mets? Galen? Kevin Pilar? Kevin Pilar? Plawecki? P- P-L-A-W-E-C-K-I. Plawecki? No, I must have missed that one. From the Mets. Okay. The Mets are hoping a little humor will give rise to a winning season as the team tries to laugh off a photo of a faux phallus. Faux phallus! <laughs> in, in, their, in their locker room. Okay. There you go. They're sure. being political. All right. Mets catcher Kevin Plawecki could do, all, all, all he could do, was smile sheepishly as he tried Saturday to explain the presence of the taboo item. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really know how to handle this one, Plowecki said Saturday after the Mets' official Twitter account posted a picture of a faux phallus in his locker later Friday night. How come they're not calling it what it is? It's a faux phallus is what they're calling it. politically correct. The 26-year-old denied that the device was his. <laughs> but was uncomfortable speculating about which of his teasing teammates may have left the vulgar appendage. <laughs> yeah, but was it clean? Yeah, that's a no-win situation. <laughs> Let's be very, very was honest. It clean? <laughs> I mean, who would want to touch it? Hey, you're you home. I hear the dog. I heard the I dog. Love dogs. I heard the dog. <laughs> Man, I just had to walk back in and grab something. <laughs> it's a happy dog. Did I, rem- home. I didn't remind you of something, did I? By talking about the faux phallus. <laughs> 
no, no, no. Yeah. Let's go put it away. Oh my gosh, I left it on the table. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Go get it. Uh, well, that wasn't the topic of today either. Mm. Do you do you own one of those uh, Alexa devices or Echo devices? Do you own one of them? Well, I mean, I have a Kindle that's got Alexa in it, but I don't. Nice. Okay, so there's, there was a story this morning. Alexa may be getting a new body today, according to the Wall Street Journal. Amazon will um, add a seven-inch touch screen and a camera for video calling. Did you know this? Okay. No. Call Larry, and you'll I'll call, you'll call me, and I'll see you. Hey, young lady. <laughs> Larry, what's in the background? Oh, that's just a faux phallus. Just don't, don't. yeah. I mean, it's just phone. Don't worry I about mean, it. Everything you know, it's it's amazing how easy connectivity is nowadays. You know what I mean? It's uh, everything connects to something. It's kind of amazing. So it's coming out today, and so this is oh, this is the future. The future's here. I mean, you. Oh yeah, you, it's here. You, oh, you, you don't have to dial anymore. You just call call Galen. There you are. Hey, mm-hmm. what's what's? Oh on? sure. Well, my phone does that now. I Good. mean, it's shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so you, so there are there was another uh, associated story with the Alexa story regarding Alexa Easter eggs, and apparently the people who program Alexa uh, are fun loving people. And so, sure. w- if you say to your device, "Today's my birthday," your device will say to you, "Would you like me to sing Happy Birthday to you?" That is cool. Did you know that? Yeah, uh, your phone will do the same thing on Google. Okay. So that's how I knew that. Okay, so. so apparently there are certain key questions that will trigger key answers, like the one I just told sure. you about. And so uh, they, they, they're calling them Alexa Easter eggs. <laughs> Sure. Oh my! And I'm going to tell you the top 15 Alexa Easter eggs. The top 15, if you want to use them. I have 200 of them here, but I'll use the top 15. Wow, 200 of them. Yeah, there's 200. Well, there's more than 200, but these are the 200 they published. Okay, here's the top 15. Number 15, Alexa. What are the laws of robotics? I can't wait to hear what her answer is. <laughs> yeah. What are the? Oh, laws? you don't have the answer. You just have that they ask the question. Right. I was hoping somebody had one of these devices. Do you, do you can you turn yours on so I can ask it, or you can ask it? Um, no. No, you don't. Nowhere near it. No. 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 What, is yours the Alexa? I'll have to do that tonight. Okay. Okay. And then uh, number fourteen, Alexa, is there a Santa? Ooh, ooh, ooh! I wonder what is. that answer is to that. <clears throat> there better be yes. Yeah, of course. Oh. No hesitation. Okay, have, it doesn't get any Christmas presents. All right, I have no idea what this one is. <laughs> Alexa, is the cake a lie? Is the cake a lie? Oh. What the heck is that one? I can't wait to hear the answers. <laughs> Alexa, what's, what's the first rule of Fight Club? What's the first rule of Fight Club? Talk about Fight Club. I mean, that's clear. That's that's a... Everybody <laughs> knows that rule. Is that to the win, first rule? To win. <laughs> Uh, no, no, it's to not talk about Fight Club. Oh, oh really? The first rule is to not talk about of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, so you know that one, okay. But the movie. Yeah, I remember the movie. Uh, but I, yeah, and I think I actually saw this one, believe it or not. But I, I don't, but it was so long ago. Uh, if you would have seen it, then you would have known the answer to that. Cause that's, a, that's, well, a, every, that's like every scene they talk about. Yeah. What's the first rule of Fight Club? You don't talk about Fight Club. Yeah, but I do think I saw it, but I know it's very fresh in your memory. But when you said it, it, it sounded familiar. So mm-hmm. I don't know if that counts. Okay. All right, good. Maybe I didn't see it. Maybe okay. I will just, because I watch a lot of talk shows. Maybe they talked about it. Uh, Alexa, I yeah, want th- sure. I want the truth. Alexa, I want the truth. That's number 11. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the answer. <laughs> well, again, from the movie, A Few Good Men. Can you change it to a different name? Like, can you change, oh, can you change Alexa to, like, Galen? Galen, I want the truth. I, I would hope. Yeah, I'm sure you could. <laughs> I'm sure you can. I have so, no, right. for security sake. Number ten, Alexa. T. Earl. Gray. Hot. Yeah. Okay. What the heck is that? Earl Gray. T. I think that's from hot. a movie. Oh no, oh, it's from it? a movie. Is it? Abby oh, I, maybe all these. Are, maybe I, all these are from movies. They're all movies. Yeah. Okay, Alexa. Surely you can't be serious. Well. My name's not Shirley. And I'm always serious. I mean, that's an airplane. Oh, there you go. Right, right, right. <laughs> Alexa, my name is Inigo Montoya. 
I am here. Yeah, that's from a Princess Bride. Oh, uh, okay. Sure. Alexa, beam me up. Scotty. Yeah. There Ale- you go. Alexa, winter is coming. Alexa, that's from uh, Game of Thrones. Are you Skynet? Alexa, are you Skynet? Have Skynet you- is from. Uh, gosh, is that from Alien? Oh no, that's that's Skynet that uh, 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 Sandra Bullock movie where they stole her identity. Hmm. Oh, okay. And then she had, and that was this big computer and everything. Alexa, are you going to call? Alexa, open the. No, it's Scott, wait, wait, Skynet's from uh, Terminator. That's what it's from. Oh, oh okay, okay. Oh, Skynet's okay. from Terminator. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's who sends back to originally kill him and then to save him and then everything else. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Alexa, open the pod bay doors. Alexa, use the. That's two thousand one, right? Yes, two thousand <laughs> one. Of the movies I can actually tell you something about. Yeah. Alexa, mm-hmm. use the force. And Alexa, I am your father's number one. <laughs> Alexa, I am your. I father. am your father. <laughs> I'll have to try some of those. Oh, that's funny. So, so I wonder what her um, answers are. I wonder if she just says the names of the movie, or if she goes into the reason that the phrases were created. I wonder what she says when you say, Alexa, what is a faux phallus? Yes, exactly. Alexa, what is a faux phallus? Somebody well, I mean, I've used it like once or twice because I, I got a new the Kindle on the, on the Kindle. And it, well, no, I haven't done that. Oh, okay. Um, well. But, but, uh, but um, it, it just like just goes to Google, basically, and repeats whatever's in Google. That's what I thought it did, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Because we've got Ask Google right on our phones. We, I know, but okay, it's, it's horrible. It always yeah. says, yeah, it always says... I don't have an answer. I'm sorry. I don't have an answer. Mm-hmm. I don't have an answer. Really? You must ask some crazy questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Google does everything. Did you bring the whip? B- believe it or not, that w- that wasn't even the topic. The topic today is actually... That was, oh, I thought that was the topic. The, that the was topic so fun. is the one must-try food from every state. The one must-try food from every state. Okay. So we'll do that on the other side. Gail, how's the uh, blood supply? Um, we're okay. We, uh, we are in the, you know, we, we have, just getting ready for Memorial Day, we have right out a five-day blood supply. Oh, good. And uh, we just really need people to just get out there, give to get the life and donate blood, get ready for Memorial Day weekend, and uh, increase travel. They're, they're saying there's going to be record travel. Yeah. And so we just need people to get out there, share their life, and um, ensure that the people around us can uh, can enjoy it. Absolutely. That's I like the way you say that. Yes. Enjoy, make sure people around us can enjoy their lives. Isn't mm-hmm. that great? It is. It Boy, is that's great. a that's it's a wonderful that right there. That sentence right there should be on your marquee. Mm-hmm. Put that one on your marquee, unless you already have. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, the important me- message that Galen delivers in that regard uh, is made possible by two great sponsors, Palm Garden of Ocala Health and Rehabilitation Center. If you or a loved one ever need long-term skilled nursing care, short-term rehabilitative care, uh, respite care for a loved one, maybe you're taking care of somebody and she or he uh, uh, would be better off going there while you're doing your things, like, you know, going to a Mets game or something. Um, there you go. Go <laughs> check it out. They're at 12, 2700 Southwest 34th Street uh, here in Ocala. Take a tour bef- way before. Go go today. Take a tour today if you can. And mm-hmm. and also listen up. They've got lots of events happening over there um, that oh, you, yeah. you can attend as well. Penn Flooring, 1201 Southwest 17th Street. Thank you as well. Uh, Penn Flooring, of course, provided the flooring that we have at WOCA. They can do the same for your home or office. They are at 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the McKay-Williams Bridge. We'll take a little break, and on the other side, the must-have, must-try foods from every state. We'll be right back. Hey, this is Matt Wilkerson from Verizon. You work all day, right? So why would you want to spend your night out shopping for that new phone? Well, Marion County, let me and Verizon help you out. I can deliver to your home or office, saving you precious time. Phone, tablets, internet, home phones, even accessories. Whatever you need, we will deliver free of charge. Call me at the store, 352-528-0020. That's 528-0020. 
I hear the month of May is crazy busy at Palm Garden of Ocala. You bet. To start with, the week of May 7 is National Nurses Week, where we celebrate our nurses and thank them for all their hard work. Palm Garden would not be what it is today without them. On Thursday, May 11, from 5 to 7, we are opening our doors to the listeners and offering retail therapy instead of physical therapy. We will have LuLaRoe clothing and Premier Designs jewelry available. Palm Garden is located on the corner of 27th Avenue and 34th Street. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that, I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new yep, truck. Yep, we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too. Well, as a matter of fact, join me, Matt Gibbs, from Sunrise Automotive every Tuesday at 10 for auto repair with personal care right here on The Source. Mother's Day is the 14th, and you know what that means. Symphony Under the Stars at the Ocala Golf Club, 3130 East Silver Springs Boulevard. Bring a picnic and enjoy food specialties, fabulous music from the Ocala Symphony Orchestra, and fireworks. It'll be very dark after the fireworks, so be sure to bring a flashlight. Adult advance tickets are $20 and $25 at the door. Children, 6 to 17, just $5. This is a wonderful way to spend Mother's Day evening with the family. Gates open at 5.30, and the concert begins at 7 o'clock. See you there. At Earth Fair, we don't carry any food that's bad for you. So you could shop here blindfolded, knowing that everything is 100% clean and good for you. In fact, we carefully select everything in the store as if your life depends on it. Because it does. Laurie from Earth Fair will be on the air during AM Ocala Live coming this Wednesday at 11.05 a.m. with weekly deals and information just for you. Live longer with Earth Fair. All right, 22 minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Galen and I, Robin, we're just talking off there. He, he, yep. Galen sent in uh, some photos for me to do for the drawings for the drawing a crowd for literacy thing that i'm doing mm -hmm. his two sons are so handsome uh we've been knowing we've known galen for so long they went from cute when they were little to handsome now that they're young men to now yeah Ga to driving Ga galen when i see my son alex i think i was never that handsome you're were you ever as <laughs> handsome as your sons i mean those no 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 well yeah see that's no. what happened to me you know i think you reach your peak as a man when you're about 25 or 27 you know, somewhere in there. No, I was. So that's never. neither one of them looks the way you looked when you were that young. No, not at all. Really? No. There must be a. Yeah, guy. I was a. I, you know, I had. A, I was a dork. I mean, I, I've I've made that clear. I, I, I'm. I think you're the only people who don't believe that. But if you ask people who knew me when I was that age, they would say, "Yeah." You know. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 interesting to see the kids. Uh, and they're not kids. I mean, well, you're, in your case, they are. But Alex is 30 some 30, going to yeah. be 31? Yep. Hmm. It's not good to say 30 something about your own child. No, no, but you know <laughs> how old he's going to be. <laughs> All right. Well, at some point, you just keep, you know, you don't have to keep track anymore. So, Galen, Galen, in the picture that Galen sent, uh, there's a car. The boys, the, 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 his two sons, I won't call them boys anymore, the young men. Yeah, they look so, uh, they look like they should own that car. I'm telling you. <laughs> they do. They're very. They're but so very the, cool. he Galen said that it's called a Morgan. Yeah, it's a Morgan. Wow, and yes. it's made out of wood. That is no, cool. the uh, the frame is made out of wood. The the uh, shell is still aluminum. You know the fenders and everything else, but uh, the rest of it is made out of uh, wood. It's a wood frame car. That's pretty it's neat. Incredible. Do you know what I saw on on um, on YouTube? I saw um, a a Volkswagen bus that you pedal. It's got no engine. You really? Just, you just pedal it, yeah. Point of that. <laughs> wow. Save a lot of money on All right, all right. Let's so just walk. Why not just walk? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I don't Why know. not just It looked fun. It looked fun to me. The Flintstone. Yeah, it looked fun. Okay. So the must-have food from every state, I'm not going to do every one, but I'll, let me tell you Florida. The must-have food from Florida is crab. Don't ask me why. Oh, I was going to say pop. Huh? Because, you know, there are better crabs in Maryland than, you know, in the Chesapeake Bay. But, uh, you know, I would have said, you know, uh, conch, because you can't get conch anywhere else. Oh, conch. US. Oh, okay. Uh, it says it said the crab harvest season ends May 15th. Coming up. Yeah. 
So uh, I guess it's... Yeah, crabs are great. I love them, but they're better in the Chesapeake Bay than the, they are. The claws yeah. are removed and the stone crab is returned to the ocean. Sure. So it does not die. Really? You oh, eat. stone crabs. Yeah, stone crabs. Yeah, they and fall then, off. And then it grows back? That's what they say. Yeah. Yeah, when you touch them, they just fall off. Oh, my. All right, let me go to uh, Wisconsin since it's constantly uh, a, a state mentioned because <laughs> Robin is Packers. <laughs> Let me see. And I wonder what the food is. What do you think they say the food is for the state of Wisconsin? Rots. All right, let me find it. It's toward the end. Here we go. Uh, let's see. The must-have food for the state of Wisconsin um, is... The Cheeseburgers? Sausage cooked in beer, also known as a beer brat. There you go. There you That's go. it. You knew it. Dark beer. Sausage cooked in beer. It has a, a better flavor when you cook it in What do you think beer? it says for New York? Let me see. Pizza. You know, this is the thing. When I go to New York, <laughs> when I went to New York last October, everybody said to me, "You got to try the pizza." Well, first of all, the pizza in Ocala is pretty good. It is. I don't it's understand wonderful. this whole thing that New York has the best pizza. Doritos. I know every New Yorker hates me right now. <laughs> yes, they do. I don't know. Ocala, Ocala's got some good pizza. Okay, in New York, let's see. What does it say? Uh, it does say pizza. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. Holy mackerel. I'm not surprised by that at all. Gosh. Well, because you can yeah. eat it on the street. That's the coolest thing. Go into a city and go into a food truck and get something you can just eat on the street. Mm. That's the fun part you when you go traveling. <laughs> Let's see. Galen, uh, Galen goes to Alabama a lot. The Alabama um, must have food. Ooh, can Galen, can you guess it? Can you guess it, Galen? I was going to say barbecue. Um what, yeah, what do they say? It says chocolate bourbon pecan pie. Wow. Chocolate oh. bur- bourbon okay. pecan pie. Have you ever had that one? Okay. Okay, Georgia. Yeah. Or sounds That's like something from New Orleans. <laughs> Let me find Georgia. On bourbon Georgia's Street. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia, the must have food from the state of Georgia is uh, fried green tomatoes. Sure. Makes sense because of a movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what other state do you work? You do Georgia, Alabama, and Florida, right? Just the three states. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I go to South Carolina occasionally, but uh, South the Carolina, the must-have food for the state of South Carolina. Oh, New Jersey. I came up behind New Jersey. Let me do that one first. Um, Taylor ham. Taylor ham is a much must-have food from the state of New Jersey. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is. Did you hear that the Superman building is is uh? Is going to be sold or something? I didn't know the Superman building was in Rhode Island. Did you know that? No. Is it the I museum? Don't know what the Superman building is. It's the building they show at the uh, the opening of the Superman. So oh. Look up in the sky, able to leap tall buildings. Oh. That oh. One. It's okay. That one. Okay. Okay. Uh, the let's see, Rhode, uh, South Carolina. Um, uh, the most boiled peanuts. Get them from it's in a, South Carolina. South okay. Carolina, get boiled. I mean, Georgia is the peanut capital of the world. <laughs> and, okay. By the way, uh, George, uh, the peanut farmer of the world, J- Jimmy Carter, mm-hmm. was in the news this morning saying that he voted for uh, Bernie. Bernie, oh, S- he Bernie did? Sanders. Makes There's sense. A shot. Yeah, that's that doesn't surprise anybody, right? Yeah. Well, Bernie, yeah. something happened there where Bernie caved before the. So it just, the, the it just delegate. so there was something that well it reinforced. It gave. I mean, it was it was fixed from the beginning. If you read mm-hmm. WikiLeaks, you never had a chance. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Galen. Uh, thank you. Thank you for sending in the, the donation to the Literacy Council. Oh, no I, I will yes. be doing a handsome picture of your two boys, your two sons, right. and, and uh, yeah. looking forward to putting the Morgan into the picture. Yeah, that'll be cool. cool. Without that'll the velvet fun. ropes, I'll take yeah. the velvet ropes. So. <laughs> there you go. I am I am the go. original Photoshop, by the way. <laughs> Yes, Hi. you are. Hi. Uh, where, where's the Bloodmobile today? Bloodmobile today, Larry, uh, we're actually down in um, Summerfield. We're at the Lowe's in Summerfield today. Oh, okay. All right, go down to uh, Life South. Donate blood. Remember Galen's uh, daily announcement that without us donating blood, there is no blood supply. And without a blood supply, right. lives don't get saved when they could have been saved simply mm-hmm. by having enough blood. Thank you for what you do, Galen. Oh, you guys are the best. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Be careful out there. We'll be right back. Fox 
News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. The head of U.S. Cyber Command set to testify before a Senate committee this morning, one day after a high profile Senate hearing. President Trump is lashing out at investigations into alleged ties between his campaign and Russian meddling in the election, taking to Twitter, writing, quote, The Russia Trump collusion story is a total hoax. When will this taxpayer funded charade end? Fox is Griff Jenkins. Former acting Attorney General Sally Yates testified before a Senate panel alongside former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, warning that former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn could be blackmailed by the Russians for misleading the administration. Official results still hours away for the South Korean presidential election, but AP reporting exit polls see a victory for the liberal candidate, and the UN believes nearly 250 people are missing after two shipwrecks in the Mediterranean. Fox News, we report, you decide. My name is Dale Pazinski. I'm 19 years old, and this is how I live United. I've always been kind of a computer geek, and I found a way to use those skills to help the homeless in my community. For people facing hard times, computer skills and a basic resume are so important. It may seem like a small thing, but it makes a huge difference in people's lives. So with United Way, I created a program where I work with the homeless. Together, we go through their whole job history, write a resume, and then save it on their very own USB drive. We provide workbooks and training certificates. I even budgeted for cupcakes so we can celebrate as a class when one of our people gets a job. That's huge. When somebody says, hey man, that job that you helped me apply for, I got it. That's what Living United feels like to me. My name is Dale Pazinski. I help people achieve financial independence. So I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. Give, advocate, volunteer. Live United. Go to liveunited.org. Brought to you by United Way and the Ad Council. Howdy folks, R.L. here for Dairy Queen Silver Springs. It's a new year full of good stuff and good food. So come on down to DQ at Silver Springs and start it off right. Because we've got things for your heart's delight. Chicken strips and pepper gravy and slaw or chili dogs oh so savory. Codfish and grilled burgers too. Made to order just for you. Creamy and frosty blizzards and shakes and all kinds of flavors for goodness sake. Dairy Queen Silver Springs where we always treat you like kings and queens. Are you in need of custom screen printing, embroidery, or promotional items? Then look no further and come visit the brand new Legacy Team Sales. LTS is conveniently located off 17th Street next to Armstrong Homes in beautiful Ocala. We offer the best prices and highest quality products for your company, team, school, or nonprofit. Whether looking for screen printed shirts, embroidered polos, or travel team uniforms, you'll be sure to find it at Legacy Team Sales. Come visit our new 27,000 square foot 